Leaders are not generally like this. You are genuinely thoughtful and kind, and that you worry about people's feelings, and that you care to make people feel included and thought after, and that that is a rare thing for a teenager to have. I think you're going to be a really good person when you grow up. No doubt. Okay. A lot of positive energy. Woo! All right, next up. How much would it cost for a 600-mile trip for car A or B if gas is $3.199 a gallon? Why did I do this? $3.199? That's how it always is on the gas stations, right? Why do you think they put it like this instead of just saying, uh, that's basically $3.20? But this is cheaper than $3.20. Why don't they just say $3.20? It's almost the same. Because they save us over there, right? No. You think gas stations are like, man, I really hope I can save them some money. Tyler? Is it to make you feel like you're getting a good deal? Yes. Why? To make you feel, that's exactly why. I mean, that's exactly why car dealerships do it too. Is anything ever $25,000? No, it's $24,000, 999 like and ninety nine cents, okay? It's not twenty five thousand dollars. That'd be a lot of money. This is twenty four thousand dollars, nine hundred ninety nine and point nine nine. Like <clears throat> they do it because twenty four is less than twenty five. They do it because three point one nine looks like less than three point two, which technically it is. But is it that much less? No. But that's why they write it that way. Yes. And if you're like. <clears throat> but everybody knows this trick, right? It wouldn't influence me. You'd be shocked. How many people, if you had two gas stations in town and one was selling gas for 3.199 and one was selling it for 3.2, how many people would choose the first gas station? And how much are they saving per gallon? Point, um, what? Zero, zero, one, a tenth of a cent. So if they are getting 20 gallons in their truck, they are saving two cents. That's a lot of money. To go from one place to another. Says the person who buys stuff from Quick Trip all the time. Two How cents. Is harsh. Mm. Mm, that's not a compliment. That's a deep. That's not a, that's not an insult. People are allowed to buy the food that they want to buy. But two cents. Two cents is something that is small enough that the question is, if two cents were on the ground in front of you on the sidewalk, would you stop? Yeah. Okay, some of you would. Well, it depends if I'm carrying stuff. Right? Yeah. Some people wouldn't. If $10 was on the sidewalk in front of you on the sidewalk, would you stop? Yes. Yes, yes most of us would. There's a very big difference between $10 and $0.02. Cents. Okay? What if I said to you, hey, you can drive all the way across town to save $0.02. Cents. No. But some people would. Some people would say that's a difference in that, that, that gas money adds up, which they're not really considering how much gas money it takes to drive there to get to the other gas station, but, you know. All right. Um, how much would it cost for a 600-mile trip for car? Let's do car A right now. Car A to get, if it's this much. Okay, so how are we going to figure this out? Colin. I agree, but how do we know how many gallons it would take car A to go 600 miles? It says gas used. Gas used. A 600 mile trip, I, am, I just thought it meant for the trip. No, this was to help us figure out our miles per gallon. So if we go back to car A, we know that the car A gets well, 18. We have to take the car's mileage then. Okay, what so it mean? gets 18.5 miles per gallon, right? Mm -hmm. So it'd be 600 divided by 18.5. Okay, so I'm going to take 600 divided by 18.5. Everybody do it with us. how many gallons we use, okay? It really doesn't help to just have numbers on your paper when we're talking about real life problems. If it is a story problem, it has a story answer. You have to have a label on it. And that's not just because your teacher said so, although it's also because your teacher said so. But it is also because it gets confusing, right? When you're just writing down random numbers on your paper and you're like, what does this even mean, okay? This is how many gallons we use. Now what do we do, Colin? 
then we pay debt at 3.199. Hundred and three dollars and seventy four cents. Out of curiosity, I'm going to multiply the same amount by three point two instead. Look, guys, if you go to that other gas station, you would save three cents on a six hundred mile journey. Wow. That's enough. That's a good deal. That's hey. not just two cents. It's three. Things do add up. Do tenths of a cent matter? Not to me, maybe to some people, not to me. Do, does a difference of 15 cents matter per gallon to me? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay, so it really depends on you. Of course, it wouldn't matter to me enough to drive to a different town to get it. But if it meant driving across town to get a difference of 15 cents, yeah, I would. So, depends on you and your opinions. All right, try car B. Everybody know where we got that 18.5 miles per hour? From the first problem? Mm -hmm. Everybody stop what they're doing right now. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Stop what you're doing. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Somebody tell me right now. Is this going to be less or more than the other car? Less. Why less? Because it gets more miles per gallon. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, did you just hold your breath that whole time too? Okay. <laughs> Everybody, give me your math paper right now. Just throw quarters at them. Don't have any quarters. Don't. No. All my cash is dollars. Except the cash is dollars. I see. Thank you. I mean, you can. We're doing that tomorrow, but I don't want you to ask me questions about it right now or check in with me. Okay. About to ask you a question. All right. So. <laughs> All right, so now here's my question. <laughs> Let's be honest. When you do these worksheets that I give you in this class, are you constantly like, okay, let me just do the same thing over and over and over and over again and just do the math, or are you actually thinking about what you're doing and why you're doing it? So like when you did this one, and you took 600 divided by 22.04 to begin with, were you guys understanding what you were doing? Yeah. That you were taking the miles driven and dividing by how many miles per gallon you get to figure out how many gallons it would take? Okay. Here's a question, look up. If you are driving 60 miles per hour, how long would it take you to drive 60 miles? 60 hours. An hour. An hour. Does everybody understand that? Some people don't. I know. So if you're driving 11 miles an hour, you would be 11 miles. Mm-hmm. Is that crazy how it works? So, I, I also have a good one. Um, so, if you're on an electric train going north, and the wind is blowing to the west, which way is the smoke going? Is that an electric train? No smoke? Mm -hmm. All right. Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Who's up? Oh, One, two, three, four. 
Is this for a car? Shoot. Maybe I should Yep. <coughs> Two. Oh, that's me. Oh, yeah. Um, should be 87 plus 08, right? Explain. Um, so the miles per gallon is 22.04, so you take 600 divided that by 22.04, and then that's how many. Okay, let me let me do it. What'd you get? Uh, I don't remember, but then you would. You have a calculator, so. Uh, then you times that number by um, 3.04. 